spent refumigating the farms. Our first visit to a cocoa farm was the farms of the National Chief Farmer for Cocoa, Coffee and Share in Ghana, Nana Yadombwachi Kukuku II, who is also the chief of Sefri Ahim in the western region of Ghana. How long have you been into Since, 60, since 1965, there have been numerous changes. In every sphere, there's up and down. Uh, there was some time when the then government was not paying a hit to the farmers. Another in the form of uh, pricing and all that. But for six years now, we are enjoying a better service. Mm. So the prices are good? The price, we bargain with the government, we bargain with Cocoa Board, we take the well price into consideration after so many deductions. Okay, the farmers are equally good with our 70% or 71% share given to the farmers. Apart from good prices, what other help is Cocoa Board giving you? Cocoa Board has been giving us so many incentives. They, they, they have brought in the high tech. That high tech, if you uh, go by the rule, you get more than double harvesting. We get uh, assistance in the form of re uh, subsidized insecticide, like uh, comfort oil and all what not. Mm. So you are saying that the seedlings that you are using to plant the cocoa now is much better than the seedlings that you used to use 45 years ago? Uh, the seedlings we are using now is called hybrid. In, in the local language, it's Akwadejesu. Uh, so it's for 16, I, I, I've been plucking two years, you, you get yield. But before, how many years did you have? Before to it takes a farmer nine years to get yield. We know the international community is talking about child labor, child labor. They're saying that farmers in cocoa producing countries are using young children, paying them peanuts, preventing them from going to school to do the work on the farm. Is maybe, this true? Maybe it's a history. Because this time, no farmer will even allow his ward to follow him to the beach, to the farm. And uh, the, the civilization has, has existed in a way that even you feel ashamed for not educating your child. Mm. Today, in 2007, is much better off financially than 45 years ago. Yes, 100% correct. Because uh, being a farmer now, you can, it's a boastful thing. Yeah. I, can, I can say uh, I'm not regretted for being a farmer, for being a cuckoo farmer. I'm not regretted at all. I have about six caretakers. Caretakers, okay. They are not liberals, they are caretakers. Okay. I know, Sefri, your suit is a very a uh, popular area for cocoa, yeah. especially in Ghana. Mm -hmm. What sort of development has the government in return to you keeping up with the high production? Uh, the current government is helping the farmers in the way of roots, educating our children, giving them scholarships, farmers work. Koko, especially Koko farmers work. I'm giving free scholarship. Uh, if our goods are not passable, the government is trying to make it no at for. He's giving us some subsidized goods for it's an incentive. Mm. Mm. So what makes Ghana's cocoa premium cocoa? What is the premium cocoa is the, uh, is due to the well fermented and then well dried and then well picking the the the, 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 the they are picking the the, the 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 bad ones we call it mold, molded the beans the, those are the molded okay. beans the, one that the molded beans yeah okay. and then they are picking the this time we call it purple beans Okay. You, tr you, uh, you pick them out so that the what will remain may be called grid one. And that grid one may fetch the government the, the needed premium. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So the premium actually is being detected by the farmers themselves. And through education, the farmers are now aware of how to, 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 uh, to help the government to achieve the, the necessary premium. From Nanabuachi's farms in Sefiosu, we visited the cocoa farms of Madame Abina Mabua, the best national cocoa farmer in 2003. At Madame Mabua's farms in Sankori in the Ashanti region, we were taken round part of a farm by Mr. Mohamed Al Hassan, the principal quality control officer for Cocoa Board in the Sankori district. At her farms, we were shown facilities she had provided for her laborers, which included clean drinking water and residential quarters. Ghana cocoa beans' superior quality is gained through the way it's processed during the harvesting period. In the drying process, the farmers use sun rays instead of mechanical means as used by other cocoa producing countries. The cocoa pod is cracked open and the seeds removed. 